Thank you. So I, I remember you when you played uh, in, the, in the competition. You played a fantastic Mozart IV uh, concerto, and I particularly liked your cadenza. Okay. Uh, it was very interesting, and it almost gave me some notions of Isaiah and some advanced. Uh, <laughs> did you have fun composing that? I did, actually. Yes, I, and I, I could tell that, that you seemed to have fun while playing that. I was now wondering, when you have practiced Bach, how do you usually practice this? Um, as in... No, no, I mean, I was just wondering, I mean, do you practice it always, all the notes, like, like it's written? To, a lot of the time I actually try to isolate the, um, I think, the melodic lines with the kind of the harmonic box. Yes, great. So I think let's do a little bit of that. It is your music here? Yes. So uh, since we then need to pick two different parts, let's put the music on. And 
I th very hair when I had the were teaching just before. Um, a little bit for that. Yes. Day. So I think also sometimes, and my suspicion would be that uh, the focus on the left hand, which is really really difficult, mm -hmm. doesn't help your right hand. Okay. So I would like us to maybe focus a little bit differently. Yes. Now, so play without needing now to play all of the notes, play just the melody, and I will play the bass line, mm -hmm. but longer than it's written. So, and try now to play everything just in the first position. already hear sort of uh, even freer Bach now. Play, play again the same way. And now think, if this was a cantata by Bach or orchestrated, which instruments do you think should do this? Is it violins, oboes? There's no right and wrong answer here, but do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes. So again, just a melody. the music better like that <laughs> than when we play oh, all of it. It is easier. <laughs> it is easier. So, but how shall we get this easiness into the playing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because once we start to think intonation and difficult stops, somehow the beauty of it gets a bit lost. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's still a bit of it there, but mm -hmm. I like it better this way. You like it better this way. I didn't tell you how to play now, so everything comes from you. It's already in there. Mm -hmm. So now, let's then try. Can you now just play the melody one more time and remember how you feel in the right hand? Play it one more time, just the melody. Now the trick is, I don't care how it sounds now. Mm -hmm. Don't focus on that, but focus on the feeling you had, how it felt in the right hand, mm -hmm. how it, the music moved along, and even if it then sounds out of tune mm -hmm. and not coordinated or something, you're still one step closer to getting where you want, would like to go if you don't give up that. So, so try now with all the notes.
much better than when you played it. Really great. I'm very, very happy. There are a few places where I think maybe also we need more nu nuances. So maybe now, we, if you think about the harmony, can you now just think the melody and I play only a few notes? Subdominant. <laughs> These kind of things. And when you now play all of the notes, can we see if we move from the tonica through the different chords, through D minor, and reaching the subdominant, if that can be more of one journey for you? See if you like it. Yes? start to happen. I have a feeling sometimes we are uh, stopping something in the body. It doesn't feel completely free. Understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you were now to allow yourself to move a little bit, mm -hmm. let's play it together and see if we can sort of create a three-dimensional path of, of this. I really literally want you to move around okay. and see if you can feel the different chords, uh, you know, traveled to them. have the feeling a little bit that we limit ourselves. I don't, I don't say that in the concert you need to walk around miles and miles, mm -hmm. but if you do it when you practice, maybe you can get that freedom. So let, let's really try use the whole space here, okay? Try something new. Travel to the next chord. Experience D minor. And definitive travel to subdomant.
does that feel Un unusual? It does feel but, comfortable. Right? Yeah, because something happens. Suddenly your shoulders are a little bit freer and something even happened with the sun, I think, very positive. <laughs> Actually, take now down the violin and let's just feel the music, okay? I will hum it out of tune probably, but see if you can now, can you make your body alone do this movement? Okay. I mean, literally, try, <laughs> yes, try. It's nobody watching, <laughs> okay? Okay, again. Um. Actually, since you are speaking about it, it's a relatively new phenomenon that audience are sitting still. They used to move a little bit. So maybe we can have a little bit exercise. Why, why don't all of you stand up and we will see if you can feel this part together. Okay, then let's play and we get help from the audience. And... start to sing. much easier to play the violin when we get help from the audience. <laughs> Actually, in other fields of music, pop and jazz, and people are not sitting still even today. So it's a pity that we started to make these rules in concert music life, I think, that everything needs to be, you know, not applaud between the movements. That was highly unusual. At Beethoven's time, it would mean they didn't like the first movement if they didn't applaud. So there is, but anyway, anything is in your mind. When you were moving around and when they started to sing, didn't it feel easier to play a violin? It's more comfortable. Yes, and if you next time you stand in the audition playing this piece or whatever, recreate that within yourself. Mm -hmm. You can create the same atmosphere. Okay. You can stand still as if you were moving around your inner air can hear this choir and it can inspire you. Okay. So instead of being something the left hand terrorists terrorize your right hand with, mm -hmm. it can be part of this big experience for you, which power you. I think all the right answers are within yourself already. Because when we play just uh, separate parts, I haven't given you no instruction and you seem very musical. But now it's about Letting, letting go of whatever you imprison yourself with. <laughs> and it can be traditions, can be what your teacher tell you, can be what you think other people think you should do, it can be all kinds of things, but go for that, the feeling. It should be, it's one of the most wonderful movements ever written, and it can create a great joy for you every time. And I think then if you now start to practice differently using the components of this which is already within yourself, 
I think you can achieve it very quickly. It, this kind of things doesn't take so long time. The most difficult is to start behaving differently. This is also one thing I strongly believe that whatever have brought us to the stage where we are now in life can also be said is the same thing which prevent us from getting where we really want to go. Because if you want a different result than you're getting today, you need to do something different. <laughs> Bring something new into the equation or use the elements in a different way at least. So, uh, practice is anything which will, will bring you wherever you think is a better place. So if you want to feel comfortable and free and inspired, mm -hmm. that must be the essence of your practicing. If your practicing is about something else, like intonation or <laughs> things like that, we need to retranslate it. So, for instance, for myself, I think I seek the pleasure of a third in tune, and that's a physical sensation which it feels nice. So I want to experience that again. I never put arrows up and down in my music. This note is too high, this is too low. This kind of thinking, because it narrows. If you want to feel free, you must feel free when you practice also. You always get better at what you practice. But many times, it's hard to know what you really practice along with what you think you practice. Mm -hmm. So this is bringing the whole experience into it. Let's see, we are still have five more minutes. Let's do the opening of the last movement. Fix Nikki, are you here? <laughs> yeah, she went out. Okay. So, but anyway, I was thinking here, maybe harmonies can also help us. So, tonica and dominant. You are familiar with, with the naming. Dominant got his name because it dominates over the tonica. It's more important. So, when you started, it sounded the same. Now. See if the dominant can be more important for you. Yeah, still, I think that it feels too much the same. I would wish that you experience a gesture on the dominant there. Are you willing to try it? Yes, from beginning, yes. Yes, and then think how... How can we get to, to that? So it, I think if you are too strict here... Together with me. Yes, we just wanted some inspirational help for the chords here. Yes, no problem. So, if you are able to just extract some harmonies from this, can you do that? See yeah, my okay. major, D, D major. I quite often sit by the piano imagining how to play Bach. Okay? 
So let's actually start two bars without playing and then you come in. Okay. And you stop. Very, if we go very slowly here, it's very small music, yeah. where is it? Uh, after this, we are just back to tonica. And then something more hap uh, in, uh, important happening with the harmonies. Can you play this, uh, this alone slowly? like that shape much better. Before you went really, f you know, for the tunica with the big accents. This seems more natural. I saw that you have an edition where somebody have put forte and some things in it, but don't think too much about it. Again from. different, can you do it again from on this place? again the same section um, yes from, from. yes I think I would like you to sit down by the piano and do that, and then, then next time you will know. Because if every bar is equally important, there is a sort of static tension in that. But if you then, you can feel this is more important, this is more important, then it can give you a pattern for how your body can play the notes much better. Because I think too much even tension is what maybe is the difficulty in this okay. movement. Unfortunately, we are out of time, but thank you a lot. Thank you. And thank you for helping. Yes. Yes.